Right, Ranvi. Boy, do I have a tale for you. Good day, Eivor. We are allied with Shropshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chilbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. He was my best boy. I fucking love Chilbert, man. God damn it. Right. Whateth cometh next death? Is this new? No, I don't think so. Show me the map. I want to see the alliance map. Show me the money, honey. Oh boy, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful sight. We've got a bunch of shit done. I'm surprised Lincolnshire isn't available. Jorvik is 190. Oh, wait. Lincolnshire is fucking power 160. Why is a power 250 place available? But a 160 place is not. Does that make any fucking sense at all? Question mark? Well, Kent it is. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He's oh, shit. He's shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found a paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will pledge to Kent. Oh, shit. Are we going straight from one great arc into another great arc? Because the previous Basim, Sigurd, and Fulke arc was great. Good. Be safe, Eivor. It was, in fact, the best one prior to the Shropshire arc. Oh, you fucking bitch. Dad, what is up, Basim knob jockey? Word of Sigurd's location. We're leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. You fucking hypocritical motherfucker. When I am here making decisions for the good of the settlement, you're like, can't believe you're making decisions for the good of the settlement, cunt. And then when I fucking go and search for Sigurd, you're like, oh, someone has to stay here. For the good of the settlement, because you're not fucking here. You dickhead. You must join us. Sigurd's life is at stake. We need you there. No, I am needed here. I will you kill you, motherfucker. So completely that you will not raise an axe to save your yarl. A fine way of putting it, wolf kissed. But go, find the yarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. I will this kill you, Dag. Dag. We will speak when I return. I will murder the shit out of you one day, Dag. And Sigurd's gonna hate me for it. But it's gonna happen. That is definitely a thing that is gonna happen. It's gonna be like, oh, do you wanna kill him and Sigurd hates you? Or do you wanna let him live and then he tells Sigurd you're the worst and Sigurd hates you? Do you have anything else to say? Like speech bubble above your head? No. I should go. It's a lose-lose situation. Alright, let's ring this motherfucking bell, yo. It costs gold? How does it cost silver to, to ring a bell? Oh, the other thing was assassination damage. Oh, well. Sure. Give me that extra... Extra melee damage. Couldn't really give a fuck about the others, but the the assassination. Yeah, Dag wasn't invited. Dag was not invited. Right. Uh, 4,603, you say? Wait, show nearby quest. What? Oh. Fuck off. Um. 
Yes, okay. Well, this is going to be interesting, considering that we hate Basim. Yeah, it is actually really weird. There's plenty of places that are lower power than this top left joint. So why on earth are they not available and these other places are? Strange. Mucho Strangio. Right. Uh, I guess London is the closest. Kent is also the place where we need to gather the ingredients for Valka. So we can return to the dream world. We were just on our way to Jotunheim, Jotunheim last time. Right. To the sea! Oh. Do you not want to go? Oh, actually, you know what? I've got a, I've got a little thing called a ship right here. I forgot about that. I forgot about that small, uh, small little thing called a ship. Can't raise the sail here. Is there like any river that actually leads that way, though? Eh, I guess like right there. Sing us a song. Wait, why are we 180ing? Why are we 180ing? When I say go to quest objective. Is it going to try and take me all the way down here? No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No raising the sail here. Let's have a song. Choo, choo. If all the if all the remaining areas actually are decently story focused, then I'm gonna be so happy. Because the previous Basim and Sigurd one was great, and then that one was great, and then we're back to Baz Basim and Sigurd again. And if it's all like this, I'll be a happy boy. I just really hope we don't go back to the fucking, you know, turn up to a new area. Here's a random bunch of people you never met before. A random problem that you don't give a shit about. Fix it for them. And now they're allies. Kind of, you know. Raid? Don't mind if I do. That's a good first way to join the Kentish lands. You bunch of Kents. Let me guess. Can't get through here. Hmm. Wait, what? Really? Is there no way in? Say what? How did you not see me? Everyone. Oh, hey. What is going on here? Fire. 
Madman. What kind of shit assassination was that? What the fuck? That was rubbish. Hey, I let you out. Be nice. Damn it. How do we climb up there? a viking and he told me a wonderful story about Freya and his pet boar, Golden Bristles. He said that boar was like a god. I want a boar like that. So I fed the viking to Cecil. I think he is changing already. I can see it in his tusks. They look shinier than usual and he has a weird little smile like he knows something secret. He is becoming a god and he demands more fresh meat. That's also a god of war link. <laughs> Freya and the pet boar. Upgrade to Dive of the Valkyries. Am I using that one? Yes, that's the big jump. Inflict stun damage within a large radius of impact. Sweet. Sweet. Wessex. Which means the Kingdom of the West Saxons was an Anglo-Saxon kingdom in the south of Great Britain, founded in 519. Under the stewardship of King Aethelwulf and his sons, which included Aelfred, it proved a hard nut to crack for the invading Vikings of the Great Heathen Army. Are we still, like, this is still part of the raid, right? Is there not stuff to find around here? Like, uh, you know, like, supplies and stuff? God damn it, just run up the fucking tree, mate. with so many boars. Yeah, I don't know, man. Although, is there not anything to actually loot properly around here? supplies and stuff. I thought there had to be if you were going to raid, but it is now seeming like that is not the case. So I guess we're off. <laughs> Nothing else to do. Ah. This is... Hearken to me, if wisdom you seek. I'm here, old man. Tell me your tale. Three young men came to me not long ago. Braggarts, full of drink and sin. Death had claimed a friend of theirs. So they set out to find Death 
and teach him a lesson. That is foolish. We Norse do not seek to control death. We embrace it. Aye. But rudely they demanded of me. Tell us where to find death. You are old. You must know him. Look no further, said I. He is under the great oak in the forest behind me. And that is where they went. Ooh. Under the great oak in the forest behind you. Okay, Strange right here. Tale. One that lingers like a terrible dream. Is this the great oak the old man spoke of? Death. And they're dead. This is what the old man meant. But what happened here? Strangled. That is no bandit's work. Killed by poison. No sign of a struggle. He must have taken it unknowingly. Food and ale. But why make a camp here if they were searching for death, as the old man said? By his pallor, I would say poison took this one's life. What was he reaching for, I wonder? Silver. No doubt this played some part in this sorry scene. What, a whopping 40 silver? found hidden treasure beneath the tree. They made camp, but they decided how to spread the prize. Two of them turned on the third. But he was one step ahead of them, and had already poisoned their ale. So the glister of silver drove these greedy fools to murder. It seems they found death after all. Or death found them. Okay. Having a normal one. Literally 40 meters away, may as well. Oh. Love to collect these entirely useless fucking masks. Up, Eivor. Go up. Yeah, yeet! I just noticed a feast buff above my health bar. That lasts a fucking while, doesn't it? <laughs> because it is still at pretty much full. It essentially lasts an entire play session. Are you serious, motherfucker? You wanna go? You wanna go? I've got plus three melee! You won't like me when I've got plus three melee. Come on, have a go. That's what I thought. <laughs> fucking prick. Alright, Basim. You other fucking prick. The one assassin in this game called Assassin's Creed and yet also the person I trust the least. The person who seems like he's a huge nice. knobhead. But it's an Assassin's Creed game so you're supposed to be the one that I'm Obeying and shit. But knobhead. So Augustine make a distinction between faith and understand. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve. Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe slain by a despot have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hawkbert? 
You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Ouch! Ouch! Lol. Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. Mm, what does Fulke want with him? What happened in Mercia still puzzles me. Fulke saw something in Sigurd. A power, a legacy. What is it she wants? Her motives are difficult to fathom, but that can come later. Let's find your brother first. Agreed. If we do this, you'll earn the right to call me friend ten thousand fold. Oh, so, I don't know about that one. What is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Cunibert. Full of pious fire. But with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come. I will introduce you. And we'll hear the full tale together. Alrighty. The Instrument of the Ancients. Ooh. Have you found some peas in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace. No, I hate peas. I, I prefer alone. beans. I move among the people of the Especially world on toast. with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty. The Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important. And I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is he, though, or is he just a massive twat? Really, like, deep up his own country? ass. God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Basim says Boom. you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak plainly, Dickhead. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thain he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access to woo him. Before his exalted position is made public, and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him, and bring me the news. When I know the thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Uh... Why not the elderman yourself? Why not kill him in secret, and petition Alfred for the seat? As a man of God... I cannot. <laughs> Besides, he who stands behind the throne can better pull on the puppet's threads. 
This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenston has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Falkenston. Adios, amigo. Okie dokie. Let us grab these. Yeet! Yeet! Wait, really? How do we get in this joint? Found it! <laughs> Wowee! That was a difficult one! Thank god every fucking person in this world uses the exact same trick. God damn it! Uses the exact same trick on how to get upstairs. Oh, I know, we'll just have a ladder that's done with a padlock and it's right there and then we'll never do anything else I didn't look how many fucking keys I needed shit it's probably two isn't it let me guess this door is barred it's not it's not barred we just straight up can't do anything at all okay brilliant wunderbar Nothing else in here. Nope. Why can't we open this door? Is this bugged? Like, this is the kind of door that normally opens. It's weird that it can't now. The other one is down there somehow. Is that like a crypt we can drop into or Aha! Well, well, well. These stupid monks, they have no idea I've been smuggling their precious ale out of the priory and selling it to the locals for double. And all right under their noses. Men of God, idiots of nothing more like. Ha! Got him! Got him! Uh, ha, that's a good one. I should tell Kynerik if he gets his sozzled self here before sundown. Maybe I will have a couple of flagons while I wait. Uh, is that his corpse? <laughs> is it like, and then he died? Okay. 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 Right, that's two keys. There's not a third one, is there? Um, don't think so. That should be good then. If it isn't, I will just have to put in a formal complaint. Sick. 
things we love to see. Oh, things we love to see. Things we love to see like that. Do do. And we've got some skill points. Got some skill points. Got some skill points. Yoink. Yoink. We do love a bit of resistance. Yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. We do love a bit of... Wait, did I say resistance? I think I said resistance, but I didn't buy resistance. What the fuck am I on about? What the fuck am I on about? Does anyone know? Does anyone have an idea? Man, there really is piss all in the way of shit I care about. Yes, heavy damage, sure. Melee, okay. Don't care about Danax. I guess evasion and then melee. Ability, sure. Predator bow combo, I guess. And then work our way around. Well, I don't care about range, but... I guess that can be what we're doing next. Oh, bearded axe. I want that. I definitely want that. Oh, fuck, that's like... Right... Far away from everything. Oh, well. Uh, shouldn't we have that madman? Uh, wasn't that a new class we haven't seen before? Madman? Epinga Forest. Though we are nowadays accustomed to think of forests as pleasant places to walk, in the Dark Ages they were dangerous places, rife with spirits and crawling with bandits. Epinga Forest, now Epping Forest, was a haven for criminals preying on travellers from London to the south and rightfully regarded with suspicion. The Weald. This ancient site, now in Ashdown Forest, has expansive views over the surrounding land. In Roman times it was an important centre of the iron industry, in the modern day, it is more famous as the inspiration for the Hundred Acre Wood in Winnie the Pooh. Is Winnie the Pooh a universal thing, or is that just an English thing? Do you guys, you guys watching, wherever you are around the world, do you know Winnie the Pooh? I, I, I assume it's a worldwide thing, but I'm suddenly curious. Kinebert. A Kentish abbot who wielded considerable power over his shire, notable to history for his ambition and willingness to leverage religion in pursuit of political power and personal gain. Not exactly the first time this kind of thing has happened, and it certainly won't be the last. Yeah, shouldn't we have... Isn't there a madman? We haven't seen a madman before, have we? Huh. There's no madman on this list. We just fought and killed a madman, and he hasn't appeared on the enemy list. That is strange. That is most curious. Right, where are we heading? Uh, we are heading that way. Okay, there's a raid to do next to it. There's also a thingy right there. And a dude over there. And of course we need to go over there to get the ingredients. So much to do. All of the things. Many things. What troubles the fuck you, you old about? Man. Please. How Doesn't look that old. How many are there? I must know. How many what? The stones. Every time I count them, the answer is different. First 20, then 21. The fair folk made a madman of me. Rock cannot appear and disappear. I shall count them. Run round and round. Pick up your skirts. Still drag your ropes through the dirt. Uh, okay. Starting from the one above my head then, this pointy one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Your stone centuries. I've counted them. And? 
How many lords and ladies come to dance a jig? Twenty-one. There are twenty-one. I am as sure as I can be. See? Never the same. Never the same. Please, count them again. You must. To save my wits. Same starting point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24... There's, there's some extra ones squidged in, like this one wasn't here before. This little one here. They've squidged some extras in whilst we were in the cutscene. I cannot get the same number twice. Never the same. Never the same. Cobweb cloaks and magpie hats. Wait, what? That wasn't an option. It was 24. Let's say 26 now then. 26. How can this be? See? Never the same. Never the same. Please. Count them again. You must. To save my wits. Same starting point. There's even more now, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. This is madness. They change each time. Don't close your eyes. Or they'll steal the glinting flint scrabble it away. 23. Perhaps there are 23. Ha! They have bewitched you too. Twirl and spin and dance and grin. Pyrak, it comes to bite your shin. Who came crawling from the moor like a fat black rabbit without any legs? I see you, glisten little imp. 27, 21. 23, 24, 22, 22, 22. I don't know how to help you. It seems as if the stones appear and disappear at will. You should not stay here. Leave. Leave before they claim you. The Screamer toy with me, casting his magic in England. The fuck? That stone. Was it here before? Huh? <laughs> And where is my mad friend? Damn this cursed place. Uh Did my dude turn into a stone or were we talking to a stone the whole time? And the devil number is far away from us. Six six six. Dun dun dun. Okay. Well, that's sufficiently nutty place to stop, I think. Thank you very much for watching. What a weird one. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thanks for watching. See you then.